What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are back on Ark up to a new series today. We are over on the Ark Apocalypse servers. So if you're unfamiliar with these servers, they are 30 day wipe servers. Kind of like Rust, so you have 30 days to build a base, do as much as you can, and then the servers will be wiped. We will be basing on Aberration for this series again. Um, but we will be playing on a lot of different maps, just kind of scouting, other things like that. But I guess for the reasoning behind that, I would still say that Aberration is my favorite map, and it's a lot easier to play solo on there than, say, like, Extinction or Ragnarok, just because there's a lot more spots that are harder to find and harder to raid, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are really stoked for this. It is uh, going to be a lot of fun. It's a lot different than, like, the whole Small Tribes dynamic, just because people understand that it's going to wipe in 30 days, and so we kind of just are uh, doing a few different things. But yeah, we are over here on Genesis, just getting some basic stuff together. I did a note run, but that's just about it. I just started playing. So yeah, let's uh let's get into it here. All right, so I'm looking for a bloodstalker. I actually just think this one's tamed cuz it's not freaking out or anything. So let's check. Yeah, it is tamed. I'm not even going to I'm not going to touch it or anything. It's probably gonna kill me if I do. So uh, we're gonna uh, look for one. That's gonna be like an essential tame for aberration. Uh, it's gonna be awesome actually, because that really helps when I don't have to go tame managars, because they're a pain to tame. All right. So I ended up just coming over. I finally found the spot that they spawn in, and it looks like people have been using this method. I guess you just build ladders really, really high in the air, and then they'll pick you off. So I have a glider here. We'll just get to the top here and we will fly. I think there's some over to the left there on that tree. All right, let's go. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that dropped me. There's like two right here. I'm not really sure their level. Um, I'm not sure we're really going to go for like a breeding pair today. We'll probably just like try and get some low level females and then we're going to have to farm up some more blood bags because I think they made these things kind of hard to tame now. It's been a long time since I've tamed one. So come on, grab me. I am delicious looking. Come on. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. See what we got here. Okay, level 20 female. Not the best, but whatever. I mean, that's a fine uh, one to start out with, especially because we can breed it once we uh, get a high level male. So we're all good. For some reason, the effectiveness is really low. Okay. All right, first one tamed. We'll probably have enough for like one more low level. I didn't farm that many blood bags though. Okay, one more. Level 45 here. I'm not really sure. I, I guess I am just out of the know here. I'm not getting 100% effectiveness on these. Um, I guess I'll have to look up why when I tame the male. Doesn't really matter for these because they're just uh, the breeders. They're just like the female breeders. I just need a good HP on the male. It'll be fine. But we will head out of here. I don't want to get picked off my Bloodstalker by another one. I think we'll go scout a little bit, maybe. Oh, looks like there is somebody there. This is like a pretty sneaky spot, only a few people building, I guess, so. Looks like there's a Bloodstalker, a bed, two guys. This guy's got nothing, really. I'll take that, I mean, I only have Prim Flak. Alright, check this guy really quick. 
I don't want to like attack this Bloodstalker with mine just because it, it can kill me so easy. These things just demolish Primflax, so I'm not going to uh, mess with it unless I know that it's off of, uh, it's like not on neutral or something. So let's just shoot this thing once and we'll see if it freaks out or not. Looks like it's passive. I think these guys have been running some missions because he had like some riot and stuff. So maybe we'll uh, we'll have some stuff on Spider. All right, come on. I wonder how tanky this thing's gonna be. This is like a primitive pistol, so sometimes I forget it doesn't do very much damage. Once I get, okay, here we go. Looks like that was a lot of stuff actually. Um, a drill, that's actually super useful, nice. Shotgun, bunch of saddles I don't really want. Maybe I'll take a Meglo saddle actually. Cause I'm gonna tame one. Alrighty boys, you're over here on Aberration. I think I might have like failed to mention this, but I, the goal of this series, it might be a little hard because people, uh, there, sometimes there's huge charts, but it is to like be the alpha of Aberration, which is going to be pretty cool. So just to start off, I, uh, I bought a bunch of gunpowder on Genesis, which is awesome because that just makes C4 really, really easy. And I just collected a little polymer down there in the polymer area. And the reason behind this, I actually found a base pretty decent base in the spot that I built. I started building at last time I played Arcpocalypse in like January and it's pretty sneaky, but they have like a base with a decent amount of turrets, but I think I can get into it. I just need a lot of C4 to blow their like spam that they have. So we are uh, gonna craft that up really quick and then I think we can get into a raid. Like I don't really have anything as you can see. Like I have some stuff from some Genesis missions and then the stuff I got from that Bloodstalker. Like I'm, I'm poverty here. The only thing I'm really farming is this C4, this detonator, and then we'll see if we can pop into this base and get us to a good start. All right, well, this is not, uh, not great. Even me, I, uh, I'm pretty good at aberration. Like, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not, because I, I know the map, like, really well, but I, I even get stuck in uh, spores sometimes if I'm being careless, so I always have a sleeping bag on me just in case though All right, I can't access this come on. It's not lagging. I can't access this body for some reason. I Might just like rage quit if I <laughs> if I actually can't get this body if it's like desynced or something Come on I have no idea what's going on. Okay, I got my body. Had to harvest it like from a weird angle. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, you might not know this spot. I mean, if you don't, you can look it up in another video. Like, I, I don't know. I've had like a lot of, uh, a lot of raids on this video, so. Or uh, on this spot, not this video. So you can see that they spammed a bunch of fence supports, which is what I needed to blow up. They come in from the backside here. I actually think that they don't even think that you can come in this way because they only have one turret guarding it. So I, I'm pretty sure that they're like, oh, you can't even fit through there, even though you can. So let's, uh, let's keep blowing this up. And I, I made a bunch of shields to just shield soak this turret. I think that is the best option here. I'm probably not gonna eat this battle tartar. Don't really need it. Let's see. Can this thing shoot me yet? 
should be shooting me. Unless it has like a weird... This mesh has like a weird angle or something where it's not going to shoot me, but it definitely should be shooting me. I think it might be out of like not have any ammo in it. Or maybe these fence supports are blocking it, but I actually think it's out. It doesn't have any ammo. They filled like those front turrets, but not this back because they, I'm, like I said before, they probably thought that you can't even fit through here. You have to do it in a weird way. I'll show you. You have to like crouch here and then walk up at a weird angle. Kind of shimmy your way into this thing. Yeah, this is definitely out of, doesn't have any bullets in it. Come on. See, it's kind of hard to get up here. You have to be like, all right, I'm up. What is going on? Okay, yeah, those have bullets. All right, we're chilling, dude. We're in here, that's what's up. That's actually awesome, because like I said before, I don't have anything, like I am, I am still in the Bob stage. I only started a couple hours ago. Let's blow up this wall here. Generator. Uh, not much in a smithy. Whoa. A roll rat? These guys have been uh, grinding on gen. They even have tech helmets, which. Why did I. I can't even wear this. Like, I don't know why I took that. Let's check these out. A little bit of metal in these forges. They even got a Drake here, man. These guys are ready to grind. Huh, okay, I'm gonna get a decent amount of ammo because I didn't really have to soak any of these either. AMD Ryzen. This raid is brought to you by Intel, gang. All right. Um, they have flak. I mean, this is better than my prim flak. I'll take some of this. Bunch of tech swords, which are cool, but I don't actually think you can use them unless you, like, not even as a normal sword. So, let me see. Yeah, you can't even use them as like a normal sword. So I'm not really gonna take any of the tech gear. I'm not planning on getting tech grams this time, so we'll see. All right, kinda harvesting everything here. I did get a decent amount of stuff. I think I can make a cliff platform, which is gonna be the play for our base. I have a few spots in mind. Um, let me take care of this. But we'll have to see which one I end up on. I'll probably show it to you guys next video after I build it. Um, but yeah, we are uh, going to have to find us a pretty sneaky spot. Whoa. Alrighty. So we are stacked from this base. I'm not going to lie. We have a cliff platform, a bunch of nice new armor. We got a roll rat. Look at all this gunpowder we got. A bunch of stuff. Definitely made back the C4 that we used and got so much more stuff. So I think this is going to be the play is just like stealth raids like this. Um, and then we'll go for some PVP definitely this season, but we're going to have to see uh, where uh, wh where we're going to go. Where th if we're going to like get some soakers or things like that or what. Yeah, so it looks like these are all pin coded. I have to blow these up and get us some ammo going. I might have to grind like two turrets tonight or something. Just to keep some from landing on our base. But, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll grind that out before I go to bed here for sure. Okay, there we go. So we're getting the bullets here. About 200 in each. All right, so I made, I actually blew up their smithy when I first like blew in, but I actually made a smithy just on this other side of the plateau here. So we are going to craft ourselves that cliff platform and the rest of the stuff for that base. So pretty money. All 
Alrighty boys, we're just wrapping things up here. I think that's going to end it for the first video. Got a really, really good start to uh, the season and hopefully going to set us up with a nice base. Somewhere to, to uh, base off of for all the things that are to come. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and hit that sub button. I'll have to catch you guys in the next video. Peace, my dudes.